what's up guys so i got a brand new video for you today we are checking out the event so the update is pretty much just the event so we'll just get started so come here con con event talk to share e or p raz p berry doesn't really matter which one uh you're gonna ask you to join a team uh and then once you join a team you are gonna start collecting tokens so that is your goal for the event is to collect as many tokens as possible for your team uh, so since we are on the red team, we're going to kill the blues, raspberry bandits. And when you kill them, you'll get, uh, I believe, this ID. So let's just say I killed a bunch and I got a thousand tokens. Uh, whenever you turn in the tokens, you get adventure points based on how many tokens you've turned in. So if we just pop in here, turn in tokens, and you can see the cherry team is taking the lead with uh, the thousand points. And I just, I, I probably should have. <laughs> showed you my points beforehand but i got 500 adventure points and uh yeah whichever team has the most uh, points at the end of the day wins and you get uh, some nice goodies for the entire team everybody on the team gets it so uh good luck for that there is also a group boss the gray ape which everyone has killed it is on a timer so i'll show you the loot right now you are guaranteed to get group loot chests because it is on a timer. Uh, it has some pretty good drops. Uh, Zenite Shard, Longshot Bow, and Dragonheart Necklace are two of the uh, uniques, as well as Zenite Hammer, but Zenite Hammer is less important for now. Uh, congrats to Platinum. That is the event, uh, or the pet, the event pet, Pufferfish. So the long shot bow, the one that he says sucks, is a the it is a long range bow, so you can use it from longer than any other bow, and it is a short bow. It is. It has a short bow speed, you can see. So that's the logic of it. It is not a very crazy good bow. Uh, blowpipe would be better. Uh, T-bow would obviously be better. It's not going to change the meta or anything like that. It is a very, very niche bow. Uh, but maybe it'll be upgraded in the future. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, for now, yeah, it is It is a niche item. So, I, I, you know, like like I said, there, there's a lot of bows in game, and it's kind of hard to make any new bows, especially considering the, the best bow we're missing right now, the bow of the Heldenheim or whatever bow fuzz, as we call it. So, uh, random count. So, it was. Uh, it's kind of tricky to add new bows, but I had this idea for a long shot bow, uh, and uh, here it is. <laughs> so, the necklace is a lot more interesting. Uh, the Dragonheart necklace provides a damage boost against dragons. Its stats aren't too uh, particularly impressive by itself. Uh, very standard, five stab, five range, a uh, little bit of prayer and whatnot. But it has a nice bonus against dragons, as I mentioned. And then, of course, there's always upgradable versions in the future, so definitely going to want to at least get one, right? Uh, the cloaks do have, I don't know if I showed that, the cloaks do have prayer bonus, so... Yeah, basically the Soul Wars capes. Just figured that would be a nice, uh, you know, nice capes, and it fit the theme of what we were going with. The Zenite Hammer that you see a couple people get. I think somebody just got one. I don't. Yeah, there we go. Zenite Hammer. That is used uh, for basically some future updates. Uh, with Nex, you need Bandosian components to make Torva or to repair Torva. Uh, and so, in order to get Bandosian components, you will use that hammer on Bandos, and you'll get the components. It'll also have a lot of other random uses along the way for example right now if you use it on a fury you will get your onyx back so it'll do some you know niche stuff like that like getting your, your gems back and wherever we're like we need a tool but we don't know what tool that's the tool uh and, and after the event you'll most likely be able to make it with the schematic so this will save you the trouble of having to get at that in the future so that is about it the main thing you are collecting are the vip event goodie bags and i will do a video on those uh completely but let me just show you what they, uh, let me just show you like, uh, let me just show you, let's see if I can get anything fancy. So we got the long shot bow, of course, elite mystery box. You can get raider boxes. So if you are a free to play player, this is probably going to be one of your very few opportunities to ever earn these boxes, uh, or raider boxes, uh, without actually having to donate. See if I can get one just to show that it's not crazy rare. It is rare, but it's not any more rare than that elite mystery box we just got. So, very possible. I will do a proper video opening up a ton of these soon, but uh, that is it for the video. You can, uh, I, I guess I should show you <laughs> one last aspect of the uh, of the event. So you have these food stalls right here, and you'll occasionally get either cherries or blue raspberries. It doesn't matter what team you are, you'll get both. Uh, there are a couple purposes you can do with these. So you can, uh, I can take a blue raspberry and turn 1,000 red tokens into blue tokens. So that's one benefit. But there are also new potions. So if I uh, sponsor these, you can now upgrade your Sierra Brew into a blue raspberry flavored Sierra Brew. It, uh, it they're the exact same. There's the red one. I suppose I'll just spawn just to show you. There's a cherry one. 
And they're exactly the same. They do boost your stats more than the Sierra Brew, which I believe is also more than a super combat. It restores your prayer points, restores your run energy, and gives you a little bit of health. So it is a very good multi-purpose food. These right here, very good, best in slot type stuff. Uh, I can imagine, like, if you're a, of a raider, and, you, you know, since the banker pet has been removed, uh, raiding is not hard, but slightly harder than it used to be. You actually, you know, have to conserve your food, and stuff like this will will uh, really set you apart and you know it is notable so uh yeah that's probably if you're wondering why they, a lot of things drop sierra brews if you don't have those stockpiled you know it's worth it to grab some and the cherries do have purpose i think some people just think that they are uh random um and you never know there's always like the, the thing that people always forget about with these events is we always do an additional add-on to the event and people never prepare for that i'm just saying i'm just saying people never prepare for the future but that is pretty much it for the update. There was a, a couple other minor changes. You can now make party hat and specs with the uh, the blue party hat and the spectacles or whatever. Uh, you The ghost hunter battle axe's special attack has been improved. So just some other minor changes. But that is it for the event. If you have any suggestions or any changes you'd like to see, get them in. But uh, yeah, thanks for uh, joining the server. And if you're watching this video right when it comes out, there will be some more events uh, throughout.